What's up guys? Kevin here from Relax and Learn Guitar, where we help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. Got a good one for you today. We got a little Lou Reed. Take a walk on the wild side. I'm going to show you this tune. It's primarily just two main chords you'll be using. A little bit of a strumming workout. I'll even show you kind of a version you can play on the acoustic for that cool little bass line hook. Just cool and fun to play, so let's get started. If you'd like to learn seven more classic rock tunes using just four chords and really one strum pattern, then stick around. I'll show you how to do that by the end of this lesson. Oh, let's get down to the chords first. We've got a C. And we have the F chord. Now don't be afraid. It's not the dreaded F bar chord. I'm going to show you the way to play it here. For the C chord, What's cool is we're going to leave our index finger on this second string first fret, and that's going to be called our anchor. It's not going to leave. It's going to stick right there. So you have the C shape. To get to this F chord, you're basically just moving your middle finger down one string to the third string second fret, and you're putting your pinky down onto the fourth string third fret. Just don't play the sixth string for this one or the first. You're kind of playing these in the middle. So you have C, F. And then we just need one more chord. We've got a D minor chord. With those three open chords, you can play this really cool rock tune. Lou Reed is definitely one of a kind. The strumming along with this one's a lot of fun. So the strum pattern is a little bit of a workout. C to an F, and you get just one strum pattern per chord. Now it does help if you mute the strings a little bit, I mean you don't have to. Sounds really good either way, but if you want to use this fat part of your palm here and rest it right onto your strings back by your bridge. Just sounds a little bit better, I think. And that C to the F is the major part of this song. So the verse starts on a C, and each the C and that F chord both get one strum pattern. Holly came from Miami, FLA. Hitchhiked her way across the USA. So after those first two lines of the verse, I like to play this without any palm muting. We're going to add in that D minor chord, and the strum pattern changes a little bit to a down up down. Once for each of these chords, it goes from a C to a D minor, to the F, to the D minor, and then back to that C and that F. So for the cool hook bass line, obviously you can play it on a bass guitar, from what I can tell, maybe two electric bass guitars. We're gonna adapt a little bit for the acoustic here. We're gonna start here on the uh, eighth fret of the sixth string. Then you're gonna pluck that one more time. Then you're gonna deliberately slide up to the 12th fret. Then you're going to use your index finger again here on the 5th string 12th fret for that note. Then you're going to reach all the way up to the 15th fret, which is quite the extent of most acoustic guitars, with your ring finger on the 5th string 15th fret. And then hit that again and slide down and start all over again. So enjoy 
enjoy that Lou Reed classic, add that one to your set list. If you'd like to add seven more songs using just four chords and one strum pattern, no joke, check out this lesson where I show you exactly how to do that. Remember, you're never too old to learn, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Mm -hmm.